Hey guys, so today I'm going to be answering some of your questions and telling you guys about some exciting stuff that is going on. So if you do follow my Facebook page or my Instagram page, and if not, the links are down in the description below, you'll be aware by now that I'm flying out to America in the next few days, probably by the time you watch this video, to play the American Milsim series Operation Copperhead 2.5, which takes place in Playas, New Mexico. Now you'll probably also be aware that I live nowhere near New Mexico, so the plan is I fly from Heathrow, London, all the way out to LAX where I'm picked up by my good friend Greg Wong, who you may also know as Spartan 117GW, he does a gaming slash airsoft channel, and he's also a member of PTS like myself. We then drive in his Jurassic Park Jeep all the way from LA, right the way through California, a little bit of Nevada, through Arizona, stop off at Phoenix overnight, and then the next day finish the journey down into New Mexico, a round trip of around 1,400 miles there and back. So it's going to be a very long journey. And of course, once we're at the event, we'll be hanging around with the likes of Jonathan Higgs from Airsoftology, Robo Murray, Jet Desert Fox, Unicorn Leia. So there'll be a lot of guys there who also work with PTS. There will obviously a lot of YouTubers, and I will be pretty much vlogging the entire trip. Now I'll be making videos on my main channel. In fact, I have a gaming video or a gameplay video ready for you guys whilst I'm away. I'll put a little preview of it here. But I'll also be putting up some vlogs because I'm taking my laptop and can edit whilst we're away. But if you want to keep up to date at the time, I'm going to be doing a lot of live streaming on my Facebook page, so the link is down in the description below. I'm also going to be using the new Instagram Stories feature, which I've yet to use, but we'll see how that goes, because that also gives you a kind of live, up-to-date feed. And again, that is linked in the description. So if you want to keep up to date with all those things, check it down in the description below. If you are going to the event, I will be posting statuses about where we are, what we're doing. So if you want to come and meet up, of course, that is your place to look. I have some pretty cool goodies to give away, so Matt the Musketeer stickers, a lot of patches, so if you do see me, don't forget to come and say hello. Now after the event, myself and Greg are then driving back to Phoenix, Arizona, where hopefully we're going to be stopping off and hanging around with Haley Strategic and Travis himself, and then from there we drive back to LA, where then I'll be hanging around with G&G &G and the guys from PTS. So again, if you are in any of those locations and want to hang out, make sure you are following my Facebook page. And after that, I'm then driving from LA to Death Valley, then to Yosemite National Park, before finishing off in San Francisco. So it's going to be a pretty big tour of the west coast of the US. Now to wrap up today, I want to answer a few of your questions, the most important of which I seem to get on every video every single day is to do with my Division 6 mask. Now this is a mask that I would have in my hand right now if it wasn't already packed, ready to go to the Milsim. This is a mask that I seemingly wear quite often if I'm not wearing a standard gum shield, which I do wear at Milsim events. But because I'm going to the US and I am on holiday and their FPS limit is a lot higher, I will be wearing this mask. Now, I get a lot of questions about it, and I can tell you that a new version of that mask is on the way very, very soon. I've been speaking to the guy who develops them. They're all done by one man by himself, so that's why they're always seemingly out of stock, because he hasn't got a full team helping make them. It's not a big industry. It's literally one guy by himself. So you do have to be a little bit patient, but the new version of that mask will be out very, very soon, and when it is, I'll be telling you guys, maybe do a review of it, and giving you the link where you can buy one because they are a very popular mask and I have to say they are a very useful bit of kit. Now as well as that, a lot of you guys have been asking how am I getting all of my kit across to the US? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not. The only bits of kit I'm taking are my helmet, my boots, and my DPUs. The rifle, the plate carrier, the battle belt, all the bits and pieces I need is being provided by the awesome guys at G&G and PTS because, because I'm going on a holiday as well as a milsim, I don't want to be dragging around all my equipment on a full holiday of the west coast of America. It's also a lot of hassle as you can imagine getting guns in and out of the US. It's a lot of weight and of course you do only get a certain allowance on an aeroplane. So the guys at PTS and G&G &G are hooking me up and I will have a chance to use some different weapons that you've not seen me use before, so it will be a chance to show you guys some new bits of kit. But anyway guys, that about wraps up today's video. As I said, stay tuned, I do have a pretty cool bit of gameplay coming in the next few days where you see me getting a huge kill streak. so stay tuned for that. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and all your thoughts and comments down below. Follow all the page descriptions and links down there, trust me guys, you don't want to miss this. But in the meantime guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.